I'm gonna divorce my way into the custody agreement here on Duo Play. Welcome back to Duo Play. <laughs> Welcome back to Duo Play. We're all getting divorced. <laughs> As he Tasteful places divorced. a sauce-covered finger into his lips and sucks on it sensually, twirling his tongue around the exterior of his lips and then slowly down the finger as he traces it down to the base of the shaft. I'm oh, sorry, we're playing a game. Uh, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce <laughs> sticks to his mustache. <laughs> Ashley, will, was that you? <laughs> I will gawk gawk all over your cock cock. <laughs> no, that's Van Van who says things twice, twice. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I'm learning, learning. I will cock cock all over your cock cock. <laughs> I don't know why I just really like doing that for him for some reason. Beautiful. Your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they burst into flames, similar to Miriam. Chaos, may chaos take the world. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash and they fall off your face, which means people have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, uh, you run for the quad to be alone. I wish that I could just fucking ignite my eyeballs when I was full of rage. Do you know how much easier expressing my displeasure and things in life would be if I could just light my eyeballs on fire real fucking quick? Imagine doing it for like... <laughs> like, the smallest thing. <laughs> uh, hey, man, it's going to be like another two days on that paperwork. Uh, we just weren't able to find uh, it. No, I mean, like, um, you get your McDonald's order and, like, they forget to give you the fries. Or, and they, they, call they give you, you a medium like, fries instead of a large fry. And you're just like, hey, you gave me a medium fry instead of a large fry. It's like, oh, let me fix that. No, that's not enough. And then your eyes just catch fire. <laughs> I will burn this place to the fucking ground! <laughs> the beautiful weather Shouldn't feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably out here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and ha decided to get married. <laughs> and he won't even <laughs> ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You dumb piece of shit. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. Hey, me and Ashley are in love, and uh, we're getting married. Please don't come, all right? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> like, you, can, you also, can come to the idea of us, but, like, that's it. You know, yeah. eventually when I'm going to have my affair, maybe I'll hit you up, but don't count on it, all right? <laughs> yeah, I'll see also, you in... I know you're hurting right now. With the hand and all. <laughs> Not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer and that small fire. We should get that checked out. Also, you're a walking OSHA violation. <laughs> I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. I'll never be a master chef, but I can be a masturbator. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> just skip all of his dialogue. <laughs> yep. Well, anyway, see ya. <laughs> yeah. Baylor, yeah, you're a sad sack. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Bye. Not worth. Hashtag Audios. red flag. Hashtag Ashley was always here all along. Failure is a part of life, not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've ever failed at anything before? No. no. <laughs> You're right. That's exactly what I think. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. you Enrolled to... in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. You have me thinking a whole lot. There was lot. a point where I wasn't in, in, in culinary <laughs> school. Isn't that crazy? I... I didn't exist before then. I spawned just to go to this school and torment you. Well, handsome, sure. I was born that way, like Lady Gaga. <laughs> but I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. Baby, I was born this way. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. Good. You didn't make a good one. Uh, he could be my obstetrician. Mm -hmm. He could be my... Let me look at that puss. <laughs> Let me look at that boy pussy. Thank you. Pussy <laughs> time. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. Wait, are you the one that was talking to Miriam? <laughs> isn't, isn't this about where we started ad-libbing and say he was passionate about Jim Crow? <laughs> I really didn't want to segregate, but then I failed at that too. I wasn't a very good congressman. <laughs> Have you heard of the Dixie Democrats? <laughs> I lost my business partner to a gunfight. In the Civil War, actually. I didn't know. Did you kill him? Have you ever shot a man? What's your favorite he color? 
Are you afraid of death? <laughs> Miriam. What do you think exists on the other side? Why are we here? Do you have a boyfriend? Oh, <laughs> How big is your dick? How deep is your butthole? <laughs> These are all valid questions. Are Please buy my memoir. Are you allergic to penis? <laughs> <laughs> Memories of a smegma farmer. On stores in Barnes and Noble. <laughs> People see my delicate uh, ribbon tie. Oh, hell yeah. Thank uh, you. Thank you for that. And my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it hasn't always been. <laughs> I just remembered something. <laughs> oh, I can't stop giggling. <laughs> Sounds like this what guy really could use a hug. Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> I resolved then that I was gonna be going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give, and I would steal all those things from every one of my employees. Especially the black changes. ones. <laughs> As Colonel <laughs> Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning hatred of anyone that's not white. <laughs> oh, God damn it. One has yeah. to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure, white. It's <laughs> honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. <laughs> something very white and prideful. No wonder you wear a white power suit. <laughs> I can't wear the hood. Remembering the Power Ranger joke? <laughs> That's why the White Power Ranger is my favorite. White yeah. Power <laughs> Ranger. <laughs> I can have white pride. Don't take that from me. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants. I'll bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. And we only serve... 1910, <laughs> we only serve white chicken meat. Yeah, only the white meat. No dark meat here. <laughs> I remember we were like way spicier last time to the point where we're like, man, I feel like we gotta like let people know that like it's not just white people on this on the show. Right oh, now. is this the obligatory time where I'm like, hello, listener, I'm a brown man. I'm half Cuban <laughs> and half Vietnamese. I might sound white like you, but I am not white like you. I have racial tolerance, as should you. Duo Play is a racially tolerant podcast. Oh fuck, YouTube channel. And we ain't a podcast. You want to know what's funny? Is I, a white man, am darker than my ex-wife's brown boyfriend. That gives you the the pass, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I get the S he's, word pass. Well, he's Hispanic, so the the B pass. The B pass. Please tell me more about the B pass. Uh, How about we don't? It's a legume <laughs> and it's a slur. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> You know, Colonel Sanders would love slurs. What's he say next? Um, this is like the YouTube equivalent of like, no, it's okay. I have a brown friend. Yeah, no, I, I am the brown My friend. My ex-wife is dating a brown guy. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting cucked by a brown guy. It's cool. Whoa. Yay. Don't cuck shame. Yeah. Why do you think hotels have that sharing? sharing? I was just saying that phrase because it was funny in my brain. Oh, so now you don't share cucks. No, literally polyamorous. It's like part of the job. Yeah, you oh, have okay. to get cucked. Yeah. My career There's... path, polyamory. Anyway. <laughs> Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before you prepare for the worst. Borco! Borco? It is I! I know you said I wouldn't be back after that whole fight to the death thing, but maybe you don't want to see me anymore. But... You know, yeah, I definitely... The to the death part is, yeah. I just wanted to say that I was wrong to attack you, Fucking and I apologize. It's like having to always look over your shoulder where I hang out. <laughs> Smell your hair. About that Did you remember the joke now? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was giggling at a minute ago. <laughs> oh, God. Monster problems, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Porco. I'm glad there are no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of night can really rile a person. I'm remembering more and more of the fucking joke as I speak. <laughs> it went on for like 40 minutes. Do you want to take over Borco? Yeah, I can do Borco okay, again. Cool. Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of night can really rile a person up. You fucking bet it can! I also <laughs> want to apologize for the day I switched right into attack mode. Yeah, that was pretty uncool. <clears throat> yeah! I know that you're strong, and cooking school can put a person under a lot of stress. I actually used to go to this school. I wasn't always a spork monster, you see. 
it's like a mix of Skeletor, the dog's voice, <clears throat> and mm -hmm. fucking Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Ah, my spork spooninator! <laughs> it all started the day I was born. I don't believe it. You were human once? You know what? No I one knows. Once? We'll find out next time on Dual Play. <laughs> Fuck you, we're leaving. <laughs> Bye. Brought to you by Once Human, the free to play multiplayer survival shooter. Brought to you by Monty, who's our brown friend. Yeah. <laughs> Brought to you by Token Brown Person. <laughs>